Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, it's Cynic Alex. And we know from the first sneak peek that we are getting a Spider-Woman update and a presumably a symbiote-related update as well. Now, there's probably going to be a sneak peek later on tonight, so I wanted to make a video before the second sneak peek and give you guys all of the, basically, things that I want to see, my wish list, my most wanted for this symbiote Spider-Woman Spider-Verse update. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of either of these groups of characters, so I know some of you out there may be even more hyped than I am and you have tons of ideas and tons of, you know, different uh, theories and situations and uniforms and characters and stuff. So I want to hear from you down below in the comments. What are your top five picks for characters, uniforms or things like that that you would want to see? Obviously, we want to see improved game modes. Obviously, we want to see improved rewards. That always goes without saying, but you still got to get hyped for the characters and the uniforms because especially this year and especially lately, the game, Marvel Future Fight, Netmarble, the devs have been on fire reworking old characters and reworking classic characters. Hulk, Ghost Rider, Odin, Black Bolt, you know, there's just been a slew of amazing reworks. So we know we're getting Jessica Drew, Spider-Woman, or I'm pretty sure it's Jessica Drew. Some people think it's not Jessica Drew, but I'm pretty sure it's Jessica Drew. She's the OG Spider-Woman. She's the one everyone recognizes. She might be getting her own TV show or movie. So yeah, Jessica Drew, most likely Spider-Woman. We are getting, sorry, uh, Cindy not silk and uh, silk's not part of this video uh, and also i want to see if my predictions for what we're getting in this update are going to be correct we haven't done one of these speculation prediction videos in a while i try not to do them too often because i don't want to over hype or oversell things but i decided this time around it must be done for the old for the old eddie brock symbiote uh venom that we haven't seen in so long um also i want to start before i want to say before we start shout out to whoever made this apologies i didn't have time to go and look up who made it uh, but it is a, as you can see, symbiote, null, uh, maybe Clintar type epic quest. Very cool, very well designed. Kudos and shout out to you, whoever you are. This is fantastic A plus work. And it's this kind of fandom that I want to celebrate with these kinds of videos because you guys put in so much work. You come up with these really bombastic, amazing, detailed ideas. And who knows? You have probably, you, I'm talking to you have probably influenced at least one or two uh, Marvel Future Fight updates, which is pretty crazy to, to consider. So yeah, big shout out to this person. If this is you, let me know down below in the comments and I'll shout you out in a future video with your name. Apologies for not uh, having it ready for this video. So first things first, Eddie Brock, Venom, the OG of the OGs, not really, but kind of. Uh, man, he's been in the game for so long and he's been bad for so long. The only time Venom ever, he's fast. He's very fast. But the only time Venom ever got any sort of look that was useful in Marvel Future Fight was when he became anti-Venom. And he wasn't a villain anymore, and he was a hero, and he just... I mean, he's sort, of, he's sort of Venom, but he's not really Venom, right? He's sort of Venom, but not like this, right? Not this sort of badass, Venomized, you know, symbiote, gonna rip out your, your brain and eat it type of, of Venom that we want to see. So the new Venom from a couple years ago, started in 2018, I believe, Donny Cates, Mark Stegman... They did an absolutely mind-blowing job bringing Absolute Carnage and bringing Venom to life. And uh, Donny Cates, again, I, I talk about him a lot, but um, he really expanded on not only the symbiote backstory and Null and Clintar, but also the powers of the symbiote. Because you are not imagining things. Eddie Brock learns how to fly. I can show you the water, though. Yeah, he learns how to fly. He grows wings in order to save himself and Miles Morales from plummeting to their deaths. Uh, and he also grows a sword. It's not the Necro Sword, but it's pretty badass. So imagine we get a Venom uniform in Marvel Future Fight. So I'm guessing, I'm predicting, I'm speculating Venom Tier 3 and Venom uniform because he was the fourth or fifth most voted character rework and the other four above him have all gotten uniforms in tier three right we got hulk ghost rider odin and dormammu so i'm guessing they're going to do the same thing for him they're going to give him the same treatment if they give him a uniform where he can grow wings and fly with one of his skills or maybe he grows wings with his with his tier three skill right and he spreads them out and then he uses the sword i would absolutely lose my mind take all my money marvel future fight that is absolutely mind-boggling Aside from that, I really just want to see a classic black and white costume for Venom. I really want to see something like this. 
here. I don't want to see Anti-Venom. I don't want to see Agent Venom or Space Armor Venom. I don't want to see any of those goofy variants. I want to see the OG black and white and maybe some red. Maybe some red for the wings. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this is, this is a biggie for me. This is something that I absolutely want to see. And so yeah, hit me up in the comments down below and let me know if you would like to see that as well. Moving along, the next one I would want to see, of course, is Carnage. You cannot have a symbiote party in Marvel Future Fight without considering Carnage. And unlike Venom, Carnage has never gotten a uniform. Carnage was very good when he was introduced. He had very cool animations for 2016. He was awesome. But um, yeah, time has not been nice. T time has not been good to, to Cletus uh, Cassidy. So as cool as he looks now, and he still sort of represents that sort of Carnage figurine that I grew up playing with with the with the exchangeable arms and one of them's a claw and one of them's an axe uh, I had one of those he uh, he really needs a facelift and what better facelift right what better faceless facelift than absolute carnage he is so scary so strong so oppressive I just I want to see it it's violent it's bloody and it's and it's pure carnage and that's exactly what we need next up we don't have this character in the game so I can't really reference them at all uh, in terms of switching to the skill preview, but as far as a new character goes to to combo with Jessica Drew, I really do want to see Null. Now, this may be a stretch, but man, Null would be so cool as a universal villain native tier 2. He has so many powers. I don't want to spoil it for you, but there could be so many really cool effects with his skills. It's really so much more than just a symbiote and a sword. It's really a lot more than that. So, yeah, I don't want to say too much about Null, but he is proving to be super popular in the comics. Super popular. King in Black. Like, look at this. Look at how cool he looks. Now, of course, we can go as far as saying I would want, and I, and I would want, and I mentioned this in a previous video, a Null GBR, of course. But, you know, they're, re they're, re they're supposed to supposedly reworking timeline battle, reworking conquest, reworking... Um, story mode or adding story mode chapters reworking world boss they should be reworking uh, abx rewards so the devs have a lot on their plate so gbr i think needs to take a back burner needs to put on be put on the back burner take a break but yeah i would love 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 to see no next up this is something that i actually didn't realize because again i don't know that much about the symbiotes but someone pointed it out the cop car could be a reference to, I believe this is Patrick Mulligan, who is the human that gets bonded with Toxin. And Toxin is the sort of son. He's the offspring symbiote of Carnage. And Carnage was the offspring symbiote of Venom. So Venom's grandson, technically, Venom symbiote grandson, Toxin. And Toxin is really cool because he's done the hero thing. He's done sort of the anti-hero villain thing. Uh, but most of all, I mean, he looks really cool. This one is more slim. This is more like streamlined like Spider-Man. But he has different looks where he's either full red, red and black, or humongous. And when I say humongous, that's Venom. That's, that's Toxin. And if you, you know, if you follow the comics, apparently Toxin is supposed to be stronger than both Venom and Carnage. So he could pose a real threat and he could be a huge power jump uh, in marvel future fight i would love to see a character you know how venom gets bigger when he takes damage you can't really show it off in the game uh because you can't take damage in skill preview but venom gets larger so kind of like hulk right it would be kind of like hulk where when you do that third skill right hulk gets bigger so imagine toxin right you do one of his skills and you just like he bulks up and he gets huge and muscular and veiny and he's just like eh. so that would be amazing for toxin i think that would be absolutely fantastic and i would love to see another symbiote i know there's scream i know there are other um symbiotes out there as well but i think toxin is an awesome choice to go along with uh, null carnage and venom last but not least i actually didn't prepare images for this so i apologize you're gonna, you guys are gonna have to look it up yourselves huh uh -uh. I don't want to cut this video because I want to keep the energy. So the last one is Red Goblin. And we have Red Goblin in um, MCOC now. So I would really love to see maybe like a mid-month tier three for him. 
or you know something down the line but or maybe this update but i would love to see a red goblin uniform for um for green goblin where he's he um bonds with the carnage symbiote and he becomes even way more badass so that would be that would be amazing we do need more speed villains green goblin's been terrible basically forever and he's got a really cool play style he definitely needs a bump on the on the movement speed there he really shouldn't be this slow like look at how slow he is right see how long it takes him to get from one end of the arena to the other and then compare him to venom on foot Ve venom just casually running at his base speed with his feet it's like twice the speed of of osborne's glider yeah so i would love to see i would absolutely love to see red goblin he's getting a ton of hype right now in marvel contest of champions and rightfully so sorry anti-venom but uh yeah let me know what you guys think uh, down below in the comments let me know who you would like to see i think morbius is a good sign for more spooky characters to come personally but who knows right we we don't know what's what's uh in store for us in marvel future fights so we're gonna have to wait and see and then sort of follow along with the sneak peeks but yeah hit me in the comments down below let me know what you would like to see out of this spider woman symbiote spider verse update i really didn't touch on the spiders of the spider verse part of it because i personally don't want to see a lot of spider verse stuff we just got scarlet spider so i would love for it to be a heavily symbiote focused update and not really about the spiders but that's just me personally in the game the symbiotes are much weaker than the spiders so we do kind of need parody in my opinion which is why this update should focus on eddie and, and cletus and stuff and not on um on peter and miguel and stuff but yeah hit me up in the comments down below thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next sneak peek take care